Good morning, campers. Uh, we have something to show you. <laughs> well, I was showing Tiffany, but Carrie got Harrison some little shorts. Yes. Look at this. These are quick dry chino shorts. Oh my god, I love these pants. They remind me of little They're dickies. Super fun. <laughs> yeah. So there's obviously some gray ones. And then I got these. Oh, for... some little cotton ones. I love these ones. These are cute. Like he looks good in these colors. I like colors. the style of them. Hi, pumpkin. Oh, you see the camera. You see him? He's like, <laughs> let me go. He lets you know when he wants something. Yeah. Don't you? You okay, bud? Can I have kisses? You want to see yourself? Yeah, look at, look at that baby. Look at that baby. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's mad. Um, today's today's vlog. It's gonna be. It, it's a little more difficult. Um, it's a difficult conversation that I think I think we need to have it. So again, this isn't. It's not bad. I'm not mad. I'm not taking anything the wrong way. Everything is good. Everyone is loved. I got quite a few comments and I want to turn some of these comments into questions um, because I think that sometimes, and, and I don't want to jump to conclusions either, maybe that's why I'm doing it, but sometimes I think that a lot gets lost in the translation of a text or a comment. So instead of me, you know, reading it negatively, I'm going to spin it and answer it in a question form. And this is, it again, this is really important. I, I hope that you hang out for a little while because I think this will kind of shed some light on a lot of stuff, especially, especially mental health related. Okay, so the first one, again, look at me scratching my head. I already got my anxiety. Why do you guys constantly say you're taking a mental health break? Okay, let me say that. I didn't realize that we constantly said it, and if we do, I apologize. Um, sometimes I'm busy with work, Carrie's busy with the kids. It's very, very hard to be a family vlogger. And we are insistent on giving you guys actual vlogs for like very close to that same day. Most of the videos that you see are made the night before. There are a lot of great content creators out there, some that we follow, some that we love very much. And I don't know how they can do it. I don't know how they can film like a week in advance and then put it out. I would 100% completely forget what we talk about. So if we take a mental health break when, and when we take it, it is very necessary because again, I suffer from debilitating anxiety. I am upfront with you guys about this. If we do take one, it's mostly because it's me and we more than likely don't have a video just in the pocket waiting to be filmed. We just don't have one, you know? So if we take a break, then that's all we have, you know, which is usually nothing. So I apologize and I'm sorry if it's been more often than not, but I can't really apologize for needing to take a mental health break. Um, you know, I can't apologize for needing to. I can apologize if it makes you feel bad, but you know, I have to take care of myself so I can take care of my family. So I, I do, we love you guys so much, but we can't, you know, we, I can't just pull something out of thin air. Okay, here's another one. Every time, you have a mental health crisis, you get a haircut. Does it make you feel better? I guess I hadn't put two and two together with that. Maybe that's what it looks like. Um, I do have a shorter hairstyle, so I probably cut my hair or get it cut every, usually every two and a half to three weeks. Um, and sometimes if it's, I mean, I guess there's been a month in there, but I mean, you can always kind of like tell by the sides, like you can see if, the sides are still like nice and shape and you know getting a makeover is actually pretty consistent with somebody who is having a mental health crisis because people like to change some easy things about themselves because it makes them feel better 
um, I can tell you that that hasn't been the case for me. It does make me feel better when I get a haircut because I do think when I look at myself, I'm like, oh, you look really good, Tiff. Good job. But um, so far in any of the um, <laughs> much needed mental health breaks, I, I wouldn't really refer to it as a crisis. I haven't really felt the need to like go out and get a makeover. But if any of you out there are in need of getting a pick me up, um, you know, see if you can go get a little makeover. It will make you feel better because my, you know, cute little haircut did make me feel good. And just so everyone knows, my wife actually cut it this time. So it's every other time that I get to go and have our my new person cut my hair. So, yeah. I'm having a really hard time with this one because I don't know how to spin it positively, but um, we haven't seen the kids a lot lately. Is there something going on with that? Let's say it like that. So, the name of our channel is Tiff and Carrie. You know, Carrie and I have discussed whether we want to change it. We kind of put up a, a little poll on Facebook to see if people liked, you know, going with a new name to kind of, you know, be more inclusive to the family. And then we got to, to thinking about it. This vlog was really never about our family. It was about us. Um, I, may, I might have said that the wrong way, and I don't want to erase it. It was about us becoming a family. It was about Carrie and I coming together. It was us getting cats. It was us having kids. And this vlog is very much about our lives. Our kids are in our lives, but again, they're gonna be growing up, you know? They're gonna grow up with us. I, I don't know how long we're gonna be vlogging. I hope forever, but who knows? I mean, who knows if YouTube's even gonna be around? But the point is, there might come a time when our kids say, I don't want to be in the vlogs and we're not going to make them be in the vlogs. This vlog is still very much about, you know, Carrie and I, you know, so it'll be about how we're navigating through life just like it is right now. Like, how are we navigating? We'll talk about the kids if, you know, they don't want to be in the video. Well, whatever they are okay, comfortable with us saying, but we don't use our kids um, for our vlogs. We put them in there because right now we're choosing to do that but again if it gets to some some point when they can give their own consent you know when they're old enough to do that to speak you know coherently and really understand what consent is if our kids tell us you know we don't want our videos up like that we're gonna have to go through and put every one of those on private you know so again our channel is tiff and carrie it's it's not Tiff and Carrie and the kids, you know, we kind of succumbed to people a while ago um, saying, you know, when are you going to update it, Tiff, Carrie, and Harrison, and, you know, we even had an intro that was like Tiff and Carrie, and then it, it read, and Harrison, and we were so mad that we ended up doing that, because that's not something that we even wanted to do, we just ended up doing it, and I, I don't even know why, like, we gave in like that, but... <sighs> Anyway, so to answer that question, this vlog will always be just about Carrie and I. Having the kids in it now is because we have them in there. We don't put our kids in to get views, and we don't ever want people to come here just to think that we're manipulating our kids to, like, get more views. We're just trying to be a family and showing you what it's like for us to navigate through family life right now. So there's really no, like reasoning behind them not being in it maybe we just had more to say that didn't involve the kids at that time but it wasn't it wasn't intentional or anything well look at this i got a little friend for this one. Oh, and another friend who's just throwing stuff at me bing right on your head bing. Now I'm so last question again hard to spin this one but i'm gonna spin it really well Tiff, you look so amazing. Your workout journey is going awesome. Are you going to continue to share it with us? I really wish that's how the comment went. But listen, I told you guys before, any big like weight loss updates, I will start making separate videos for. But if I happen to speak about it for like a couple minutes in a vlog, because again, you guys get to hear like first like run conversations that Carrie and I have together. 
you know, when she, I walk in the door and she's already recording, that's the first time I've talked to her today. So if you guys are hearing our conversation, I'm literally sharing it with my wife and with you guys at the same time. And I'm super proud of myself. Like, I'm so proud of myself and I'm so honored at all the stories everybody keeps telling me. Like someone literally just told me because of you, my husband and I are starting to learn the, the from now on dance together. Because of me. Because of me, somebody who is extremely overweight and morbidly obese, I'm giving someone the motivation to change their life. I am, I am damn proud of myself. And again, these are our family vlogs. Like, I mean, not to say family, but you know what I mean? Like this is a Tiff and Carrie vlog. I'm Tiff. I, you guys are gonna end up hearing some of my info. You know, some of my stuff. I'm Carrie. <laughs> So anyway, oh, you see mommy's, you see mom's new hat. You want her to come over? Y'all gotta see this hat that Carrie has. She bought this. It came today, and she's so excited. She sent me a photo and totally caught me off guard. I was like, whoa! And I, again, wasn't trying to be like mean. You just really caught me off guard. Oh, hi, sleepy Jack. Come here, bud. Come here. Hi, Sleepy Jack. Look at this hat. How this is it? Hat. It's got a hole on the top so I can keep my bun up. So you had one of those before, like a couple years ago, when we were going to the cabin. Yes, I had Rachel a sun hat, but yeah. it didn't have the hole on the top. Right. So I never wore it because I have long hair and I don't like to wear it down during the summer when it's gonna stick to my neck. What do you think of mommy's right? hat? What do you think of mom's hat, bud? I used to think that I would just like... He still wants that camera. I used to think that I would just braid my hair, but I'm like, who am I kidding? I'm not gonna do that. You used to braid your hair. Yeah, but... Whoa. She's the The front door. Okay. So, it's getting, again, it's getting to be about that time of night. We are definitely like at the witching hour. Um, we told Harrison that we were gonna play catch. So we're we're not gonna go outside. It's a little too chilly, it's bud. It's raining. Yeah, and it's raining. And it's getting dark. But they want to a cars. You wanna look at the cars outside? We can open the door, but we can't yeah, go outside. Yeah, we can open the door. You're gonna open it? So anyway, we have some things that we're gonna do tonight. But again, guys, I... It's really important to me that that I took the time to to answer those like couple of comments and I'm I'm doing my best, you know, here trying to navigate through life, you know, like I'm studying for my big test still and I just I wasn't going to say anything again, but my test got canceled again and I have to pick a new date. So it's no longer going to be in June. Um, the earliest date I could get was the end of August, which happens to be the end of my fellowship. Um, my birthday, yeah. So I wasn't gonna like say much about it, try to make a big deal about it, but it it just kind of all came down, and I just found out about that a couple of days ago, and it was already after I was already feeling like some type of way with you know everything going on you know, with my anxiety, so it definitely didn't, uh, it wasn't like the catalyst or anything. But I guess you could call it like the icing on the cake, you know, because it's like, really? A cherry on top? But that happening was actually one of the things that almost made me kind of feel a little bit better because I think with my date coming up so soon, you know, like my, my date that got canceled was June 10th, um, that really didn't give me a lot of time to continue studying and maybe now this is what i needed you know i'm again i'm definitely feeling better today and but just so many things have happened over the past two weeks that were just like really beating me down and you know that's that's why that's why we needed a break and carrie and i weren't fighting or anything there was nothing like that Oh, you know, like that? yeah, there was no fighting. We weren't arguing, you know, and, and actually we did like, I did pick up the camera to try and start filming and Carrie said, I, you know, I don't feel comfortable filming. I think that you need to take a break. 
uh, you know, and she was very insistent on me, like, going in and laying down and getting comfortable in bed. And she's been really amazing. And I am happy to report that my medication is obviously working. Um, my heart is no longer palpitating. Um, so things are, are looking on the up. And I won't know, you know, for about another three to four weeks whether or not that's going to have an impact on my weight loss. I hope that it doesn't. I'm down here, you know, I'm not pedaling right this second, but I was pedaling in between filming. So, so yeah, we'll see. Um, but again, I really appreciate you guys all being here and just kind of navigating this life with us because it's not always going to be beautiful. It's beautiful to us, but it might not look like that you know, through the eyes of the vlog. So, yeah. Really kind of nostalgic and sentimental right now. It seems that way. Yeah. Well, anyway, I want to say thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And thank you for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch okay. you. I know. Flippity! Boop. You want boop? Yeah? Okay. Ready? You can boo, baby. Are you right here? Yeah. Boo. Goodbye. Bye.